Hello and welcome to Haworth, or at least the Haworth from my model railway layout. As you can see, Haworth station is kind of beginning to take shape. I've been using balsa wood to create the platform area, as having had a look at uh, the other options out there on the market, I didn't really feel that any of them quite did what I wanted them to do. Uh, the Pico ones were quite good, but ultimately the dimensions weren't quite right, so I felt scratch building with balsa was the way to go. Now as you can see it's still pretty rudimentary. Uh, I've got a bit of a platform there to uh, give disabled access. Um, I'm incorporating a Hornby uh, steps here at the back. Uh, the idea being that it will all be covered, the balsa wood platform and the Hornby plastic um, in uh, Metcalf uh, sheets, uh, tarmac and then some edging. And I'm hoping that's going to look pretty good. Um, I've got to sort out the edging of the platform underneath at the sides where I've put uh, ramps, but I'm hoping that that's going to go uh, pretty well. Um, not quite sure yet whether to try and make balsa wood work or whether paper might in fact be a better option. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> As you can see, I've been doing some track laying too. Uh, we've got a little shed there, admittedly a steam shed, um, although we've got an 08 shunter there of course at the moment. Um, we've got a bit of a Haworth uh, street scene, quite fictional to be honest. Uh, we've got some masonettes there, um, little Bartman low relief jobs with a pavement that I've put together. Um, got some of the Metcalf houses which I've built. Got another set of those in red brick to go there uh, in that gap. And then the other side, I'm going to be putting some uh, stone shops. Uh, again, Metcalf at low relief. Um, then we've got the car park and the pub itself on the corner with another road. Uh, notice the Hornby um, Baptist Chapel in the corner there. Now, as you can see with the track, we are going round the corner at this point. Uh, I might well have to redo a little bit of the track work there, but we shall see. Uh, it's still very much early days, and we're getting there for a passing point, uh, and then on towards uh, Oakworth Station, which again is fairly rudimentary at the moment. Um, I'm quite enjoying uh, doing this, although it's probably taken a bit more uh, time than I maybe uh, thought it would. <laughs> Uh, to get to this stage. Um, my intention is to probably lay a little bit more track and then to have a go at setting up the DCC uh, control to make sure that my uh, wiring and track is actually working. Um, I'm going to be using a Signatrack system. Uh, having seen it at a couple of exhibitions, had a bit of a play, for me it probably seems as though it's going to be the one that's going to work the best. But of course that remains to be seen. Um, in terms of the track lane, I'm using uh, Pico uh, 75 uh, Flexi Track, uh, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I've used um, some uh, cork underneath off uh, a roll from uh, Javis, and I'm using track pins to put it in place for now. Uh, make sure everything works and then the idea will be to uh, ballast. Uh, obviously I've seen uh, a lot of people talking about using diluted PVA um, but I'm interested in uh, another product which I've recently read about in a magazine uh, which is perhaps not quite so permanent so it will give me a little bit more flexibility if I make a bit of a mess uh, which knowing me is quite possible. Um, so yeah here's my update at the moment. Uh, Haworth is beginning to take shape to some extent um, and beyond that we've still got a long way to go but uh, I'm certainly enjoying the process um, hope you've enjoyed the video please uh, like it and subscribe to my channel thank you very much bye